let go, you know, let the joy in. Don't sell yourself out for cre- just creature comforts or acceptance or mere earthly powers, but uh, see yourself in the bigger sense in, the, in, in an expanded context. And so many of them are functioning as, as guides. And um, we were working with a young star kid who was about 20 years old for the past couple of years. And um, he was going through some tremendous pain. I mean, you talk about a soul that was um, going through labor pains. And we, we have people who are what we call dream walkers and etheric uh, grid workers who go into spirit through dreams and through meditations and through visualizations who can track the activities of fo- folks when they do the inner work versus who they appear to be here on the earth. Some people who are on welfare, living in a hovel, with very little material things to their their name, are doing profound, important work on the inner planes. And we have people in our dream team, we call them the dream team because we work in the dream state, not because we're so wonderful but i think we are but we were we were watching this guy as he functioned as a luminous powerful being if you ever saw the portrayal of those beings in the in the movie cocoon and their luminous state you know when they would take off the flesh that's what he looked like and he was like walking around with little power balls, little power pellets and giving them to people, putting them in their chest and watching them grow and watching them breathe free again. And he was just doing this. It was like he had a big bag of them and he was just passing them out. And when he would come back from some of these journeys, his mother would say, you know, he just lays in the middle of the bed covered with sweat. It's as though he's been working for 30 hours straight. And uh, uh, understandably, he had some heart problems because of those types of uh, of activations but he um, he did everything he could to avoid having surgeries and avoid having um, medications to to bring that down because he he wanted to keep himself as pure as possible for this work he was doing and one day and oh and by the way around the house where he was living before he moved into his own place where it's completely filled with these incredible orbs. And many people have seen them out on the net. They show up in digital photography. Sometimes you don't even need the digital photography to see them. They're like these little balls of light mm-hmm. yeah. that watch, like they're little vehicles that watch, representative of civilizations who are observing us as we go through these throes of planetary birth. And his house was literally filled with them. They have a website out there called benevolentspirits.com. And you can see them. They had these two big dogs. And the dogs could, would look up and see them. And they're little fairy beings and little space beings showing up in the digital because that's how, how highly they, they vibrate. And, of course, there are skeptics. People look at them and say, oh, that's just a dirty camera lens. But... Um, these folks know better and they put up a wonderful website featuring these Um, anyway he passed away about four or five months ago and uh, he's on the other side now we can feel the peace as far as his personality self but his grid work goes on and uh, not only that but the parents um, have begun their own work having been coaxed and encouraged by his example. And now they're doing a work called BenevolentSpirits.com. And uh, I'm just so proud of him. I'm so proud of the family. His sister is picking up some of the vibration too because it does spread through families. And uh, I'm so proud of them because they went from a place of, oh, my God, we're falling apart, to a place of, oh, my God, we're being lifted up. We're, 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 we're actually doing this ascension thing. It's powerful. But it's also very taxing. And i am be the first one to admit that throughout the years I've been doing the work I've been doing, 
there have been times when I felt like I could hardly move. I would just lay down on my bed and lay there because the gravity of what was going through me was um, profound at the moment. And the only thing you can do at, at that time is just to let it move in and through you. And then when that particular wave is passed, then you go on stronger and more empowered and more excited about what we're all heading toward. And as more and more people on the planet become empowered, it, you know, the, the reconnections have said in their writings that uh, strategically these young people, they call them neo-shamans of the new millennium, are being placed all over the earth. And they, they use the expression, they stand under the tree and catch the ripe fruit when it falls. And that's exactly what we're seeing. We're seeing people checking in from their positions in different parts of the globe saying, you know, blue team, ready and ready to go. Red team, orange team, ready to go. And um, whoever it is that's eventually calling the shots as a one-cell spirit for us all is certainly receiving input equally from everyone. There's no private agendas left. As the private agendas begin to just wind down for lack of for lack of a second, so to speak, um, more and more folks are finding themselves having to come face to face with this one self vibration that's that's making itself known on the planet. It's um, 